I'm so happy I can share with you more of my explorative journey of the northern half of Walweet Bay. This video, the third of four, is perhaps my most favorite of all, Ice Cream Canyon. Ice Cream Canyon, or also known as Ice Cream Cone Canyon, is filled with memories for myself and my family. Oftentimes growing up, we would take the family boat from the state line launch ramp directly across into ice cream. We would water ski and tube and have some lunch, explore the beaches, and go home. To inspire you to watch all the way to the end of this video, I will be sharing at the end a crash that happened at the very beginning of the canyon. Uh, I pushed off from my board as I lost my balance and nearly directed the board right back at me. So very unique and a bit of a hairy scary crash, so definitely check it out at the end. On the left I have included a video from my Instagram to compare the same location in Ice Cream Canyon to compare the water level of late winter to the high water level mark of 2023 in summer. The video on the left would have normally ended just a few feet, maybe 50 yards ahead, but now that the water is about 60 or 65 feet higher in the video that we're watching now, I'm able to go so much farther into this canyon. Right now it's opening up into a large bay with lots of beaches which has been popular throughout the summer for parking houseboats, taking a break, having lunch, exploring the sand and building sand castles. And this bay is marked by these red arrows here and soon it will funnel down and narrow and go deeper into the section that was marked in blue. Similar to Antelope Canyon, Ice Cream Canyon has become popular for paddle sport exploration. People will often rent a paddleboard or a kayak and venture from State Line Lawn Tramp into Ice Cream to explore its beauty. Ice Cream and Ice Cream Canyon are both oftentimes more enjoyable with two or more people. So I took my friend Adam on a later date to explore Ice Cream Canyon. Listen to his exclamations. you know when to stop you just go more in the middle go to the right Because I have ventured into Ice Cream Canyon multiple times throughout the year, more than any other canyon, I have been able to keep tabs on its terrain and its depth, and I felt confident navigating my friend and myself through its narrow passages. Up ahead, there's a couple of paddle borders, and so I slow down and go on my belly to navigate the rest of the length of the canyon, which is really not much farther. Um, and along the way, I talked to the paddle border in front of me, talking about uh, venturing farther. Uh, I would definitely go for it. This canyon is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. You never get too much ice cream. <laughs> All right. So these bushes are definitely the mark of the end of the canyon. Not worth trying to go past them with a motorized surf board e-foil. By the time I post this video for viewing pleasure, you will no longer be able to venture into Ice Cream Canyon as far as what I have shown in this video. But hopefully next year, by summertime, we'll be able to dig even deeper into ice cream. And we'll try something a little different. I hope you enjoy this music as I fly out of Ice Cream Canyon. Watch to the end to see my epic crash.
and here's that epic crash in some scenarios I'll push off from the board to gain greater distance between me and my equipment, but in this case it backfired because I pushed too heavily with my rear foot while the board was high on the mast, nearly steering it directly back at me. But luckily I have a pretty good habit of keeping my arms up to shield my face, and I wear a helmet at all times for safety and extra visibility. So that I can live life to the foilist, and I hope you live life to the foilist too. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the final fourth video as I explore the final canyon, Lone Rock Canyon. See you next time.